All right, in this video, I thought I would do an eat animation, a simple eat animation. Here's some pizza. We have a proximity prompt. There we go. And then we can eat again if we want. I thought that would be pretty cool. Let's go ahead and get a fresh world and make an eat animation with our little proximity prompt. All right, here's my fresh world. Let's go to the home tab. I made a table beforehand because I didn't think you'd get much out of watching me make a table. So I'm gonna go to my inventory, pull that table from the video, and there's my pizza box, but let's not use that. Let's go get some other food. Let's go to marketplace, and then we'll say food. Ooh, look, cupcakes or, or whatever. That looks pretty good. Let's add that. Oh, I like that. I like that new um, script warning system that they give you. Now I know there's no scripts in there. I'm sure somebody's going to hack it, but uh, for now it's probably working. Let's hit the alt button and that's the table. I want to try and get that plate. There we go. That's the plate. Cool. Let's add a proximity prompt to the plate. Proximity prompt. Let's change the name of that proximity prompt to eat prompt cool under action text let's call that eat and what else we need a max activation distance let's make them close so the eat animation looks realistic we'll say five five studs and then what else oh requires line of sight let's turn that off because we put it on the plate we don't want like a cupcake or something uh, ruining our line of sight. So that should be good for the proximity prompt. All right, let's go ahead and go to plugins, build rig. I'm going to hit R15 because I always play R15. So do R6 if you want an R6. Right, here's our dummy. Cool. Animation editor. Click on the dummy. Let's call this eat. Sweet. Hit those three dots. Set animation priority. I'm gonna hit action if you can't quite see it. There's several actions. I still have not read up on those. I just hit action, I know it works. And then we'll go save. Cool. Yeah, that's good. Let's go and click on our torso. I'm gonna to move this down a little bit. I'll move this forward one. That's about 15 degrees. I have this on 15 degree snaps for my rotation. And uh, one is good. All right. There's my arm, upper arm. Was that right upper arm? One, two, three. Let's go with four. Right upper arm. One, two, three, four. Cool. All right. And now I'll start with this guy. Let's move him into one two i go to the lower arm it's the blue one two yeah we'll just we'll just eyeball that one that's pretty good should we move it up a little bit i think we should let's move it up one more click on the upper arm oh not that one control z let's get the red yeah that's perfect. Remember the red on the last one. All right. Now I'm going to go to the 10th frame. This is even better than, than the demo. Let's move this guy down. The red one, one. I'm just going to reverse the order, right? Get the lower arm. Whoops. Control Z. Hold on. Right lower arm. Move him down that way. Cool. Get the upper arm. One, two. Nice. Now move him in. One, two. Lower arm. Ooh, I got it first shot. One, ooh, that's the wrong one. Undo, control Z. Let's get the blue. Uh, there. And then maybe move that red up. Oh, I can't remember how many moved, moved it up before. I think just one will work. Boom. Ah, oh, that's good. That's good. So if we play it, let's go ahead and grab this. Copy. Oh, what I do? Control Z. Grab this. Come on. There you go. Copy selected. 
go to 20 and paste frames and then let's loop it see what we got I like it we could slow it down a little if we want if we want to drag these out I think that's pretty good though all right keep it looped I'm just gonna pause it because it's annoying and then we'll hit the three dots save it again three dots publish to Roblox eats fine submit all right that ID let's grab that cool beans all right now let's go down to starter character starter player sorry yeah starter player and then starter character scripts and then local script we're gonna add a local script we'll call this eat loke on that script don't forget we have that id in the buffer hit that plus sign add an animation and then click on it go to animation id control v nice all right now we can name this we can call this like eat anim sweet Let's go get a sound while we're at it. Sound is very important when we're eating. Let's go to home nah, toolbox. And we probably should have done this when we were in the toolbox. Oh, lots of videos. Uh, audio. There we go. Eating sound. Ah, let's see. What was this? Nah. Not enough sound. Oh, that's what I used in the video, I think. Drag that into the workspace. Close this. It's up here in the workspace. Let's drag it down to our local script. There it is. Boom. Should be sitting alongside eat anim. Let's call this eat sound. SND. Abbreviated. All right, go back to eat loc, your only script that you have. It's right here. All right. Let's get the proximity prompt service, PPS. Game get service proximity prompt service cool we need a player right game get service players we'll do a local player cool and then we need a character we'll get that from the player right player dot character or if it's not ready yet like I'm just loading up in the game player character added event wait so then we'll wait when, until this event fires, then we'll have the character, then it'll be in char. So either way, you'll get a character in your char. All right, let's get the humanoid, right? Because we need that to load up animations. Char, wait for child, humanoid, cool. And then we'll get our eat anim. That's on our script, right? Script, wait for child, eat anim, right? And then we might as well get our sound too. That's right beside it. Uh, eat sound, eat sound, script, colon, wait for child, eat sound. And let's load, let's load that, let's load that animation into the humanoid. So we're going to get an eat track reference when we get the humanoid animator load animation here's the animation we're going to load eat anim that will return the track so we can play it cool now let's make a function called on prompt triggered and that's going to give you a prompt variable and the player that clicked it so like on server side and stuff you'll be able to do this prompt service but we already have a local player we're going to do that because we can load this up right when a character enters the game save some time save some processing so if prompt name equals oh equals equals uh what do we call it eat prompt right eat prompt the one in the cupcake there uh yeah that's what it was eat prompt we'll say prompt dot enabled equals false while we're eating while someone's eating let's make it false and then eat track well this is local so other people can probably eat at once i haven't played around with it i think that's the case though right so eat sound and eat track are going to play 
Uh, we'll wait two seconds. Oh, I spelled sound wrong. I had abbreviated sound. There we go. We'll wait two seconds for them to finish eating. Then we'll say eat track. We'll stop it. And then eat sound. Oh, it's eat track. Eat sound. Stop. Stop. Starting to get weary now. Oh, you know what? Let's check our eat sound and let's loop it. There, it's not loop. Let's loop it. Let's see how long it is, too. We may not need to loop it. Oh, it's only 2.1 seconds. Yeah, that's good. Let's go ahead and loop it just in case we want to make it longer. We're going to stop it anyway, right? You see where I'm stopping it. And then we'll say prompt, prompt enabled equals true. So once we get done, then we can eat again, right? We basically want it to go away while we're eating. We don't want that eat thing while we're eating. We want to enjoy the awesome animation, right? So we have our proximity prompt service. We are going to look for a prompt triggered event connected to on prompt triggered. There we go. We should be good. Let's try it out. Play. There's my cupcakes. Let's look at the, let's look at our output window. There we go. We got nice and close so we could eat. Oh, yeah. That's pretty good. We could actually make that a little closer, that proximity prompt, but we don't want them to have to try and figure out that you can eat it. We want it to go off when it gets close. I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, we can make a little simulator game like a, like a, like a Bloxburg or something. Have them get hungry, have them get tired because I have a sleep animation there too. All right, so good luck with that, and I will see you in the next video.